Do you guys remember a few years ago when the zone were coming into the game and Eddie Hearn was giving it the old we got a billion dollars to spend over four years or whatever it was and we're going to make some massive signings and this, that and the other, new players in town, the boss is here, daddy's home, whatever, all that talk, yeah? Does that sound familiar to anyone? How they came into the market saying they're going to make some big moves and Eddie Hearn DM'd, I think, Adrian Broner offering a certain amount of money and then he done Tank Davis as well and they both laughed at his offers because they were getting more with the PBC or whatever. Does anyone remember that? Because I've got a feeling we're going for a, like a potential deja vu, like this rodeo again. And you guys are saying, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is the Saudi Skill Challenge Entertainment come out of nowhere and they've got this image around them about they're going to spend loads of money and get these big fights done and this, that and the other. And I was kind of semi-sold, not completely sold. Obviously, I've got my skepticism or whatever. But I thought they would come in and they would better get some big fights and sign some big fighters. Now, I was never really too much of the belief that they were going to get the Deontay Wilder Anthony Joshua fight but this is what this video is about and I, I'm further away from that fight than I've ever been before and I'll explain why this got everything to do with PBC signing Canelo now I connect dots in a weird way in my head so it may just be me talking crap but there's a lot of science here to me anyway that suggests that the PBC have no interest in Deontay Wilder fighting Anthony Joshua in December I'll try and break it down as, as best as I can. Now for me, um, this is a red flag and it's the latest one out of quite a few. And it's basically the signing of Canelo Alvarez. Now it's been circulated that it's a free fight deal. I'm going to assume that it's a free fight deal. And if it is a free fight deal, that's not good news for Skills Challenge Entertainment and their little mission in my opinion. And the reason why I'm saying that is if Skills Challenge Entertainment have got all this money, right? And they couldn't lure Canelo Alvarez to the table to sign with them. I get that the Badu Jack fight couldn't work or whatever, but they put out a statement saying they're looking to sign free agents as and when they become free and when they become available. Ahmed Abdullah specifically said Canelo Alvarez is a free agent and they'll be talking to him. And obviously, he decided to go with the PBC. Now, you guys are going to say, oh, that doesn't mean anything. Fair enough. But if the PBC got the kind of money where they can draw Canelo away from a table, a Saudi table, and bring him over to the PBC, they've got enough money to keep people's attention. And I say keep people's attention. What I'm talking about is Deontay Wilder. So I'm pretty sure that the PBC can afford to pay Deontay Wilder pretty much whatever it is the Saudis may be offering him for a potential fight here, there, or anywhere. They can afford to pay him the very similar purses. So I don't see why Deontay Wilder will take the fight over there that's one little tiny reason another one is this the date for Canelo Alvarez is September 16th that's the date that's been reported for his pay-per-view on PBC even if it's not September 16th let's say it was the 23rd or the 9th or whatever it's still a September date now it's pretty much common knowledge right that Deontay Wilder is looking to fight Andy Ruiz Jr in and around September now you are going to say that's not confirmed he's not fighting him it's not definite Mauricio Silliman came out the other day and said that he's not going to look for a new mandatory for Tyson Fury because the Deontay Wilder Andy Ruiz fight is still in play and that announcement came in my opinion is because he had a conversation with someone at the PBC who basically said yeah the fight's happening that's what the conclusion I drew from it you can draw another one maybe that's up to you but from where I'm sitting it's looking like the PBC are going to make Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz Jr now there's only like eight eight weeks left until August, maybe even less than that. They can't get this fight done in August and give it the build-up it needs, in my opinion, to have it in August. And they can't do two pay-per-views. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they will, but they can't do two pay-per-views or won't do two pay-per-views in September. So in this little scenario, if they're doing um, Canelo in September, they're not going to do Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz in September. They won't do it in August because there's not enough time to promote it. So in my opinion, they're probably going to push that back to October. And obviously, if it goes back as far as October, then the December date is out of the window. There's a lot of skepticism about December anyway due to events sporting events going on in the states that networks are going to be focused on rather than boxing so it may not be december anyway if it were to happen and i will also say this right only one of the teams from where i'm sitting anyway only one of the teams are f preparing and talking like that fight's happening in december and that's eddie hearn and anthony joshua maybe even not anthony joshua it's eddie hearn that's telling everyone that the fight's happening in december Pretty much no one else is singing off that hymn sheet. But you know what us Brits are like in the UK? Eddie Hearn says something and we will jump through hoops. It's the way it's been, it's the way it's going to be, and it's the way it's always been. You know what I mean? And not only that, right? Eddie Hearn won't even allow his fighter to be associated with bigger fights. Like a Tyson Fury fight, they wouldn't even negotiate. They wouldn't have the conversations about it. On the other hand, you've got Deontay Wilder's team talking about going on to fight Andy Ruiz. And Andy Ruiz is the next opponent or Andy Ruiz is favorite. Andy Ruiz is still in the running. Why would they not? search for an easy opponent why would they not go from the eddie hearn school of thought and put deontay wilder in against helenius again or whatever someone easy why would they not do that if they're thinking about a december fight and the only conclusion that i can come to personally is that they're not thinking about a december fight with anthony joshua now obviously like 
the Eddie Hearn fanboys, the Matchroom fanboys, whatever, they're all going to find a way to blame Deontay Wilder for this fight not happening again as they did last time. But ultimately, Deontay Wilder and his team haven't been out in the media. Every other interview saying, yeah, the fight's happening in December. It's happening in December. We're going to tweak our plans to make sure we're ready for Deontay Anthony Joshua in December. They haven't really done much of that. When asked directly, they did say, yeah, it's an option for December. But ultimately, no one's planning on their side like it's definitely happening in December. Whereas if you look at Anthony Joshua's side, they're definitely doing that. And I think they're making a mistake. Because this Canelo move, in my opinion, proves that the Saudi money ain't that big of a draw for everybody. And money can't buy everybody out. Or there's just as much money elsewhere. Because you'd, you'd have thought that with Canelo being a free agent and the Saudis got loads of money, they would have signed one of the biggest stars in the sport. But apparently, he's gone to... PBC. I don't know guys, that's all I got for this one. I know I've waffled on a bit. I don't know if I've made my point as clear as I normally would, but it's a little bit confusing. I'm trying to pick bits from everywhere and patch it together, but essentially I don't think that Deontay Wilder is serious about the Anthony Joshua fight. And I think that with Canelo signing for the PBC, that kind of proves it because they're looking at September for obviously um, Canelo Alvarez, but that was meant to be when Deontay Wilder was going. I've got a feeling they're going to push that back and obviously that has a knock-on effect for everything else. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. And I'll catch you on the next one. Love.